This is a follow-on video to my video, How Much Force Does a Garage Door Close With? If you haven't seen that video, check out the link in the description below. Now for this video, I'm gonna do a more in-depth walkthrough of the hardware and software that I used to connect my garage door and take that measurement. So I'm gonna start with the hardware. I have a load cell from Transducer Techniques. Uh, it's a 100 pound load cell and it's got TEDs. So that means all of the data sheet information, like this data sheet, is actually inside the sensor. So I can read that chip and not really need to worry about the data sheet. I have some cables. It's just various cables and accessories that will connect that sensor to my instrumentation. And then for the measurement, I'm gonna do a high speed waveform capture using an NI C-series module that was designed for load cells and strain gauges. They all use the, the Wheatstone Bridge technology. Uh, and this is the 9237. I'll put all the part numbers in a bundle and put those in the description as well. This module, I'm gonna plug into this 9171 single slot USB compact DAC chassis. And it's USB powered, so I just gotta plug this into my laptop and that'll give me the power. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. I'm gonna lay my sensor here. All right, and so now I'm gonna go wire up and position my load cell. Uh, gonna take the little cap off, plug in this mil spec connector, and then go set this down in the garage door. So it's got a load cell button on it, and so I wanna make sure that I align that in the track for where my garage door is gonna close. And then we run this right, I'll go ahead and do channel zero. There we go. Now that load cell needs some excitation, but it's getting that power from the C-series module that, that's plugged in. All right, now let's hop into the software. I'm gonna do a real quick flex logger program for this. Um, I say program, but it's not really programming. It's, it's turnkey data acquisition. So I'm gonna just start a new project. I'll call this garage door test. And I'm really gonna just do two things. I'm gonna configure the sensor, and then I'm gonna build a UI so I can see a chart. And that's it, because that'll give me peak load. Now you can see that FlexLogger's already uh, found the hardware that I've plugged in, and I plugged it into channel zero. There's this one little button right here. It's called scan for TEDs. If you're wondering what that icon is, uh, I think that's the EEPROM, that's an EEPROM chip, and that's where the sensor information is stored. Uh, so that's all I had to do is click that button, and now all of the, the data sheet information is pulled into FlexLogger, so I can just click on done. And it's acquiring pretty fast. This is a dynamic module, so I'm going to do what I call a fast average. So I'm gonna drop a calculated channel for average. I'm going to connect my load cell, and I'm gonna do just a quick, I don't know, five times a second. Just do a little, little, little smoothing, little data smoothing. Uh, maybe even less than that. There we go, 10 hertz, that feels good. Okay, done with that, and that's it. So now my sensor's configured, I can already see live value. I'm gonna hop over and I'm gonna quickly do a UI. I want a trend, because really I'm looking for the peak. So I'm just gonna drop a big trend chart here. And where's my, there's my calculated channel, so there's the mean. I'm gonna do, just real quick, get a little persnickety on the, on the line chart. All right, and that's, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm ready to log data. I haven't had to do, I have not done anything else. All of the default settings are gonna be fine. So I'll go ahead and start running this, capturing data. And now I can shut my garage door and, and capture it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we find the button over here. All right, so you saw in the original video, in the first video, and in this video, it's about 55 pounds of impact force when the garage door closes. And we had that all measured using the load cell, compact DAC, and flex logger. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember, all the part numbers are in the description below. Thanks.